Yars Revenge is a video game released for the Atari 2600 in 1982. It was created by Howard Scott Warshaw and is Atari's best-selling original game for the Atari 2600. The player controls an insect-like creature called a Yar, who must nibble and shoot through a barrier in order to fire his Zorlon cannon through a breach. The object is to destroy the evil Kotile, which exists on the other side of the barrier. The Kotile can attack the Yar even if the barrier is undamaged by turning it into a swirl shooting across the screen. In early levels, the player is warned before the swirl is fired and can retreat to a safe distance to dodge the attack. And in later levels, the swirl can turn into a guided missile after firing and will chase the Yar until it scrolls either to the top or bottom of the screen. Yar can hide after pursuing the destroyer missile within the neutral zone in the middle of the screen, but the Yar cannot shoot while in that zone. The swirl can kill the Yar anywhere though, even inside the neutral zone. To destroy the Kotile or the swirl, the player has to either touch the Kotile or eat a piece of the shield to activate the Zorlon cannon. Aim the cannon by leading with the Kotile or swirl then fire the cannon and fly the yard out of the path of the cannon's shot. If the weapon finds its mark, the level ends. If the cannon blast hits a piece of the shield or misses, it's expended. The fire button launches it instead of firing the yard's usual shots, and as the cannon tracks the yard's vertical position, players effectively use the yard itself as a target and therefore must immediately maneuver to avoid being hit by their own shot. The cannon shot can also rebound off the shield in later levels. An extra life is also earned if the player's shot hits the swirl in midair. There is an easter egg in the game. If the Yar is in the lower third of the screen and the black spot on its back across the vertical line at the moment the explosion vanishes, the game ends and goes into the game select screen with the programmer's initials. Howard Scott Warshaw began programming the game in hopes to create a game that was identical to the arcade classic Star Castle. However, as Warshaw realized that the 2600's limitations would not allow for an accurate port of the game, he readopted the concept into a new game, preserving the top logical and geometric components of Star Castle, reorganizing them in such a way that they would be better suited to the machine. In doing so, I believe that he came up with a unique game all its own, which has stood the test of time and I consider to be one of the best games ever released by Atari. Since then, Atari has released Yars Return, Yars recharged. and Yars Revenge Enhanced. Both have great and unique takes on the original game that we've come to know. Well, that wraps it up for this review of Yars Revenge for the Atari 2600. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. You don't want to miss when we post a new video. 
So with that, have an awesome day, and we'll see you on the next one.